So do you want to do this to start the downswing, dropping the club in the slot? And do you also want to do it without even trying to? Well, if that's the case, you've clicked on the right video because I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. But also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a really good practice routine to go through and that will guarantee over time that you will be able to do this move, drop that club in the slot naturally and be able to hit better golf shots. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So dropping the club in the slot, in the downswing, otherwise can be known as shallowing the golf club or shallowing the golf club and maintaining good path. So this is something that golfers hugely, hugely struggle with and they make it way too hard for themselves to do. So why golfers make this way too hard to do is because they try to do it all via manipulation. Because the word of dropping the club in the slot kind of implies that you have got to physically drop the hands to be able to do it. And I'll tell you what, that will not drop the club in the slot, that will not shallow the golf club. I would always say rephrase it. Instead of saying dropping the club in the slot, just say shallowing the golf club. Because dropping the club in the slot is a terrible phrase, I hate it. So we can do this move easily by doing two things. And we only have to try to drop the club in the slot or shallow it to get there. So let's get into these two things and we'll be able to do this naturally. And like I said, end of the video, be a good practice plan. So two things, we've got to, with these two things, be able to shallow the golf club and get the club moving on good path. Because a lot of you think shallowing the golf club means swinging on the inside as well. It certainly doesn't. You can shallow the club, center of mass getting behind you with an out to win swing. In my classification of dropping the club in the slot, that would not be it. It's moving the club on good path while shallowing it. So first thing, we need good depth at the top of the backswing. This is what's going to create the club to move on a good path. So what is more depth at the top of the backswing to the hands? and left arm. So when anything has more depth in the golf swing in general, that means more behind us in this direction. So more depth to my hands means a little bit more behind us. So not necessarily saying Matt Kuchar, Ricky Fowler style all the way behind, but really where they're just either over my ankles or my heel region there. That will create a good path generation in the downswing. The more on top of me, so the less depth my hands are, the more the club will move out to win the more round me, the more into out. So if you want to have a more neutral ball flight, maybe small little draw, you need to have more depth. So how do we do that? We need to do that via turning our body a decent amount. So we've got to have a good turn. So it's not just enough saying get more depth, you need to know how to do it. So more turn of the body. For most golfers, this is gonna mean utilizing more turn of your hips, because not all of us can get a crazy turn with just their upper body. I certainly can't. So, more turn of the hips. The more we turn our body in the backswing, our hands are gonna follow where we're rotating. It's just a general rule of thumb in the golf swing in general. Wherever you rotate, your hands will follow. So, if we turn nicely in the backswing with our hips, so you could almost think of your back belt loops on your trousers pointing just left of your target at the top of the backswing, your hands are going to travel around you nicely and you're going to get that depth at the top again without even trying. We don't want to get that depth via doing this, pulling the hands in, trail arm will get stuck behind you, you're going to get stuck in the downswing, you're in for a bad time. So get that good turn, get that belt loops on the back of your trousers, pointing just left to your target, you'll get the depth without even trying. That's how you're going to get the path portion of this. Let's get into the next bit. So now we've got the club deep enough at the top to produce this path. Now we need to do something to be able to get the club to shallow without even trying. So what is this? It's something I talk about all the time because it really creates so many good things to happen in the golf swing. And this is now separating lower body and mid torso from your upper body. Rib cage and down, separating in transition. So this turning first while the chest is trying to stay where it is and certainly where the hands are staying where they are. So this is gonna create the club to shallow. This is gonna give that effect because if this area, rib cage down, turns and twists, which we're all capable of doing, we're all as you know, people, we're very good at separating from rib cage and down. So we can do this very naturally. And if my chest stays up there with my hands and arms, gravity is gonna hit center of mass of the golf club and then it's gonna start pitching in this direction. We don't need to try this to do this movement one bit. And if I've got that good depth and I'm separating lower body and mid torso, well, would you look at that? I've dropped the club in the slot. 
Have I tried to drop it in the slot? Have I tried to physically do that? No, I've just got good depth and I've turned how I need to start my downswing. Lower body, mid torso going, like you've seen with all my videos. And just like that, these movements happen. That's why when you see with my videos, I talk about the same things all the time. Because golf swing isn't that complicated with doing all little things here and there. If you do the big macro movements well, all the micro stuff, which you're all obsessed about, will fall into place. Turning and starting the downswing with lower body, mid torso, will do that for you. Like we see with this shot here, I'm gonna drop the club in the slot, getting that good depth, good separation when I'm starting the downswing. I'm gonna drop the club in the slot. So let's have a look. So guys, let's get into the practice structure of what we've got to do. So we know, okay, what have we got to train here? We've got to train that good depth of the hands at the top, which is ultimately via good hip turn, but we've also got to importantly train the separation of lower body and mid torso and the downswing, which is going to create that shallow nature, the dropping the club in the slot. So first thing we've got to do, drills without a golf ball. So there's two ways we can do this. One, You've all seen this, all seen this on my channel if you've watched a lot of my videos, and that is the classic resistance band drill. Yeah, yes, he's talking about it again, the resistance band drill. So, but why do I keep on talking about it? Because it's so good. So getting up to the top of the backswing, gripping onto resistance band that's attached to an upright. Now, I've got this resistance here, so this is gonna train the transition. Now what I need to do, rotate lower body and mid torso. Now I can't, even do anything with my arms or my chest. So it's training and separating, isolating that movement. I can do a lot and a lot of reps there. So that's the first portion to this. This is gonna train the transitional move. So if we have the luxury of being able to do that in between hitting golf balls, that would be brilliant. But I would recommend most of you to do that at home because unless we hit balls on a driving range, the big pillars in between each bay, it'd be hard to do that. But this is where we can do another drill at driving range. Let's say you hit balls on a grass one in between them. So you can really get this good transition. So this is where we don't need a club. Grab your left arm, put your left arm across your shoulders in that full turn here. And with your right hand, you're pinning it back into your chest. Now, same thing, just move lower body and mid torso, separate it, rotate it into that downswing movement there. That's our movement. Then we can get a good amount of reps in there. So. If that's at home, you can only do the resistance band one. Do that as much as you can. But let's say we're at the driving range now. You've done this one, five of these. And then what you do, you grab a swing plate. You extend the swing plate out with the extension pole to where it comes right out up here like this. You put the swing plate in front, just like here. Have the golf ball halfway underneath. But you have the swing plate a hand's distance outside the trail shoulder. So I'll move that down just a little bit. Now, this is gonna help you to be able to get the depth portion. So this is what gives you the path. Because like I said at the beginning, shallow in the golf club doesn't do anything for your club path. So as I turn back, getting that belt buckle on the back of my trousers, pointing left of my target. If I'm swinging underneath this stick now, I've now got the good depth. Because I want to be thinking whilst I'm doing this of the hip turn the belt loops on the back of the trousers, point left of the target, because that's gonna give me the depth naturally. This is just gonna give me the feedback on whether I've done it or not, because we know how big feel versus real is with the golf swing. So, done this a bunch. Let's say I've done five. I'm gonna do one more here, and then get that good turn, swing underneath this. It's gonna get me the path. What I've just done before is gonna get me the shallowing move, dropping the club in the slot. Let's go. So, and did I try to? physically manipulate that shallow move in the downswing? No, I just let the macro movements that my body did be able to create that. So do the macro movements and the micro movements will happen afterwards. That's why you see with my channel, why I talk about the same things all the time, because those are the things that create and control the big movements in the golf swing. If you do those well, you don't need to worry about much else in the golf swing, to be perfectly honest, unless you've got a little specific problem with that area. If you can get the good depth at the top, hands back, if you can get that good separation, you're gonna have no problem to drop that club in the slot. Don't try to do it, try to do the big movements and it will happen. So, if you want a swing plate also, go to swingblake.com and then type in at checkout, Golf lowercase and you can get 10% off. 
So I would very, very much recommend getting the extension pole. Really recommend getting that. So guys, follow this little practice structure and you'll be dropping the club in the slot in no time. But as well, practice it. Make sure you're doing a lot. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button for more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So let's do this. Then we're gonna be dropping the club in the slot naturally.